Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jack, I hope you all are fine. I always pray that you live long and always be happy in your life. I try my best to provide you the latest and authentic information about the Iraqi currency. So be connected with me and my YouTube channel. Before start the video, I have a request to you all watch this video till end. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start. Today we're diving into some significant news that's been making waves. It's about the potential revaluation of a currency that has everyone on edge, including me. I agree it's going to happen, I don't have any doubt about that. But what I'm keeping a close eye on is whether or not they decide to delete the zeros. Now, for those of you who might be new to this topic, deleting zeros is essentially a currency redenomination. This means the country might decide to slash zeros from their currency, making what was once 1,000 units now just one unit. It's a big deal because it can impact the value of the currency significantly and also influence the global perception of that currency. So why is this important? Well, if they decide to go to a free-floating market, hopefully there won't be any need to delete the zeros. In a free-floating system, the value of the currency is determined by the market forces of supply and demand without any direct government or central bank intervention to maintain a fixed exchange rate. This can lead to a more accurate reflection of the currency's true value, potentially increasing its value quickly before they have time to respond. Imagine this scenario the currency starts to gain value on the open market. Investors, seeing the potential for profit, begin to buy in. This increased demand pushes the value up even further. It's a self-reinforcing cycle that can lead to rapid appreciation. This is what many are hoping for. However, there's always a flip side. If the authorities decide to delete the zeros before allowing the currency to free float, it could stabilize the currency but at a potentially lower value than if it were left to market forces. This action might be seen as a way to control inflation and make the currency more manageable for everyday transactions, but it could also mean that the potential for rapid gains is curbed, at least initially. I'm constantly monitoring the situation because the timing of these decisions is crucial. If they move to a free floating market and the exchange rate starts to rise quickly, we could see significant changes in a very short period. This is what has a lot of investors excited the prospect of quick gains. Yet, the authorities might intervene to prevent the currency from appreciating too quickly. Rapid changes in currency value can lead to instability in the economy, which governments typically want to avoid. They might implement measures to slow down the appreciation, such as market interventions or setting up limits on how much the currency can rise within a certain period. So what should you do? Keep an eye on the news and official statements from the country's financial authorities. Any hints about their intentions regarding deleting zeros or moving to a free floating exchange rate can be crucial. It's also wise to watch the currency markets closely. Significant movements or trends could give you a heads up on what might be coming. In conclusion, while I believe the revaluation is inevitable, the approach they take will significantly impact how and when we see the currency's value change. Deleting the zeros could stabilize the currency but might limit immediate gains. Allowing it to float freely could lead to rapid appreciation, but with potential intervention risks. Stay informed, stay alert, and make decisions based on the latest available information. That's it for today's update. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Let's keep an eye on this together and see how things unfold. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.